Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday morning market webcast. Okay, so we remain in and around all of these key inflection points. I mean, pick a key inflection point. You want to talk about monthly pivot, daily mid band, the 200 day. You still have the 50 and 100 that are above, and you can see here that's where that's where uh, the end of the line came yesterday, up at 95 quarter. They pushed it deep. They pushed it down as uh, as deep as 22.25. They rejected it back off to come back and retest uh, the area of the daily mid band. They're currently trading above it. Daily mid band is coming in today around right around 37. You've got the hourly mid band that's also locked up in there right around 37 as well, 36 half. So you've just got a ton of stuff to fight over right now. And whether you want to call it a triangle from a larger area, whether you want to call it range bound, whether you want to call it infighting at key inflection points, this thing is moving up and down. It's sweeping people in. It's sweeping people out. Uh, you know, we did uh, we did a little over twenty yesterday in the room, including a really nice short from forty three to end the day. But you know, intermingled with you know three or four really good trades, I had a couple minus fives yesterday, and the two minus fives that I took, one of them was on a Trump tweet that that just like lifted it five handles in like two seconds, which you know what? That's what the disaster stops there for. That's why you have it in place. So you don't go get a cup of coffee and come back and you're minus 20. So every trade we do, there's a five handle stop that's attached to that. Don't get hit very often, but that's what they're there for. And there was another one in the afternoon on a short where they just kind of, they, they just kept overrunning a lot of areas that in a really well-behaved tape would have been resistance or would have been support. Didn't mean it didn't continue to go back. So I end up taking a minus five on a 42.25 short, and then I end up 20 minutes later in a 27.43 short that I do 10 handles, 17 handles, and 10 handles on. So it's just it, yesterday was not an easy tape to trade. It's one of those tapes where you zoom it out now and you're like, oh well, trend down, bye bye, here you go. But you got to understand that in here was a lot of whip. Now I don't know if that's going to continue today. I would suspect that it would, just because. We're fighting over a lot of stuff. The nice part is it's remaining volatile, certainly enough to get to find four or more handles for, for a day. You know, the trick is keeping it, and that takes discipline. Um, so you can see the monthly pivot there on the chart. You can see the daily pivot that's kind of locked up with it. You see the hourly mid band underneath 27.36.55. See the 200 day at 56 and change, and then the weekly pivot is a little bit farther above. So that whole area is really critical. Um, and that whole area is going to dictate control over the tape and set up the next leg. I don't care if it's up. I don't care if it's down. I actually kind of like the bearish look of this right now uh, into, the, into the end of the month. I don't think it's going to last to the end of the year. That would be unusual. But they're making a stand here at the 50 and 100 day. If they make a stand at the 200 day, the 9 day, and the 20, that's five big moving averages on a daily chart. Plus everything that everybody else tracks that kind of want to be resistance more than anything else. What does that mean ultimately? Look, it's a pretty rare bird in downturns that a low like this is kind of a one-off. It's a one-shot deal. We don't even get back to the zip code to test it and off we go and you know it's happy fun time. Typically what you see is it comes back, it doesn't have to come all the way back, but it comes back into the zip code just to make sure that that's support and then we would head back up. That scenario makes a lot of sense to me uh, as we head into the end of the month and the beginning of next month. So the good news for all of you out there is, yay, more volatility, right? Um, volatility is not going away. I don't care what holidays are coming up. Volatility is not going away. There's way too much going on and there's way too much jockeying for position. There's way too much now performance chasing, I think that's getting thrown into the mix. This thing is gonna move. The trick is, it's going to give you enough to make your handles. You have to be disciplined enough to keep it. That's the key. That's the key. All right, everybody have a great day. I'll be out with some stuff on social. Come check us out. We'd love to meet you. Until then, trade them well. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.